Hey guys, Frog here. Today on Hidden Gems, I'll be taking a fairly recent game I found on Google Play called Card Thief. Uh, Card Thief is currently on version 1.2.1, with its last update being September 7th, 2017. This game labels itself as a solitaire-esque stealth game. Honestly, I never thought a game that could fuse stealth and solitaire could exist, but... Hey, this is 2017. People can sexually identify themselves as a Apache helicopter if they want. Anything's possible these days, right? Starting off is a tutorial mode. Pretty decent, fairly easy to understand. I like that it allows you to be the one to take control of the tutorial. You know, some games will give you one that is more or less a click to continue video, but this one here is not playing around. It's like, here, this is a game unlike any other you've ever played. You're in charge of the reins, you better get used to it. It even lets you play it back in case you need more practice. I like that. You can tell early on that the music and visuals are taking on a medieval style with the castles and dungeons and with the thieves guild and whatnot. Kind of feels a little bit like Castlevania. And you can also see how their description kind of does fit this game. But it seems easy enough. Just keep in mind where you're going and how much stamina you'll have by the end of each turn and you should be fine. I will say, however, I am confused with your character a little bit. I mean, I know he's a thief, but he's wearing a renaissance doctor mask. And I'm not trying to badmouth the character design. It surprisingly works, but it's just like, I can't help but think about the doctors in Assassin's Creed 2 every time I look at him. Oh wait, her? Well, at least it's no Hitachi helicopter this time. Remember how I said the seems easy? Well, this game very quickly lets you know it's not. A number of times I found myself completely stuck, either surrounded by enemies with no stamina, or unable to fill my stamina enough to grab the chest, defeating the entire purpose of the heist. I mean, look at this. I've been on this part for five minutes trying to find the best way to be able to continue, and there's no way I can do it. So if you get stuck with no chance of grabbing the chest, just let yourself get captured. There's nothing else you can do. I mean, you might be thinking, okay, well, I've collected all these coins. Why don't I just leave through the exit? Fine, go ahead and do it if it's there, but you don't save the coins you collected. I mean, maybe I missed something, but as far as I could tell, those extra coins are about as useless as the doorways in this game. Let's take a moment and show you the hub. This long floor after floor of a hub acts as the guild headquarters, if you will. Here you find the guild master, a map to the levels, and your treasure trove. With the guild master, you can upgrade your skill cards after completing the mission at states, unlock treasure chests, or get stolen goods and coins for unlocking new levels, and even purchase the paid version of the game. Besides the actual gameplay with the cards, the tutorial leaves you to figure everything else out on your own. Uh, the treasure trove, I have no clue what it does after collecting 20 chests. Guildmaster, I didn't even know I unlocked the chest with him until after I collected five or six. And unless you know this fact and have kept up with your chest opening, you'll never find out how to get the coins to unlock the next levels. On top of that, I've noticed even if you unlock the chests, not only does it take more time to unlock the next one, but it will only give you one or two coins for the next level, making this way too tedious to fully get a great experience. You know, it'd be really nice if you had more than just nine cards to work with, too. Only having a 3 by 3 field of gameplay feels restrictive and a little claustrophobic, even. It does take away a little bit of the experience of the game, narrowing your options to only a small window. Now, if this was more of a technical issue, I can understand that. But if, say, this game was even just another row or column giving you 12 cards, this would make the whole sneak around aspect twice as much fun by giving you more ways around the guards. This game is just way too hard when you start off. 
I feel like the enemies are more common than anything else combined. It really forces you to pick every single move carefully, or you'll end up stuck or just plain outnumbered. Like, how am I supposed to make it out of this? Seriously. Something that I do like here is if you get an enemy from behind, you get bonus coins, and you don't need to use your stamina to defeat them. When this happens, they show up in gold, making it even more clear that you have a chance to strike them down easier at that moment. I'd appreciate it if the barrels came a little more often, too. It feels like they really are two per heist, but doors? Oh, doors appear with every other torture enemy. What does the door do exactly? Well, if you hold down a certain card beside your thief, the game will display a description of said card, which is nice, but it displays where the card is and you can't tell in the review, but that means your finger is on top of the description. Letting your finger off the screen makes it go away too, so you're stuck here maneuvering your phone to try to get a line of vision to read any description. That'd be like to open and read a text message, you'd have to press and hold on the envelope icon for you to read it with your thumb smack dab in the middle of the text without moving it or letting it off the icon. This game was a test of my patience. It forced me to bend to its methods and exact patterns it offered me. And I began to feel like it was less skill and more pure luck in what cards would be drawn next. In terms of being pay to play, I can't necessarily say it is. The only thing I came to discover spending money on this game would be useful for is opening chests automatically, instead of waiting time and time again before having the guild master finishing his pick lock. It takes a long time to get one chest, given how early the difficulty is on this level, leaving you to play the same level over and over again. It gets mentally exhausting knowing that you are restricted to only one single place again and again to grab a chest that will contain, if you're lucky, two coins of many you need to unlock the next level. And that half your effort is wasted anyway because you don't hold on to the coins gathered through each playthrough. The game feels incomplete, like as if it was only a skeleton of something that could be much more. Giving me hopes for it, but I can't help but be left with the question what exactly to call this game. Is it stealth, puzzle, card, strategy, what? I like the charm, the atmosphere of it. Everything points to it being a good game until you come head first into its flaw. And don't see myself paying for this game, nor can I call this a hidden gem. It's not that it's bad, it's just it's not good enough yet. On a scale of trash or treasure, I rate this game right in the middle.